We have quite the video today. I am going to be going over the best makeup product that you can buy from every brand at Sephora that I've tried. So I'm only doing makeup brands that I've tried multiple products from that I actually feel comfortable enough to pick up the best item from the brand. But in my head when I was coming up with this video, I imagined myself while looking through all the brands, if I was going shopping with you and you went to a brand specific kiosk and you were like, Morgan, what should I buy from this brand? This is the item that I would tell you to buy. It's a long one. I think I have 48 brands to cover with you today. So before we get into that, I want to thank today's sponsor for today's video, which is Top Cashback. I'm really excited because I first heard of Top Cashback from Kelsey Brianna J and I actually originally signed up through her sign up link and I have been obsessed ever since. It's so quick and easy and intuitive to use and it saves you money and you literally get to earn money while shopping. So it's super easy to sign up. All you need to do is click the link I have down below for you in the description box. Now that is my sign up link. So when you use that link though, you're going to get a $10 sign up cash bonus. So once you make your account and make your first purchase for $25, $10 will automatically be added to your account. But it's super easy to sign up. You can also just go to topcashback.com and you put in your email address, you make a password, you confirm it with your email, and then boom, you're ready to go ahead and start shopping. I am not the most tech savvy, believe it or not and it was really easy for me to set up. If you're using Chrome, make sure you use the browser extension. That also makes it very easy. So when you download the browser extension, it's gonna be most likely, I think on the top right corner of your screen, you'll see the logo right there. And then when you click on that, that actually has a menu that shows you the best deals going on right now. So currently while I'm looking at my screen, Adidas is 15% cash back, which is really awesome. Booking.com, 8% cash back, Michael Kors, 12% cash back. There also is a section where you can see your recently visited stores as well. So I love the Chrome extension feature. And of course, you can also use this on mobile as well. So it's really easy to use. Just know that the categories for what is available to earn cash back change frequently. So make sure you use the browser extension or you can always view what's currently available by visiting the Sephora page on Top Cashback. Once you get to the website, it's pretty easy. You just shop as normal, make sure that your cashback is activated. I was shopping on Sephora here, so I made sure my 4% cashback was added. And then once you get to checkout, I just picked up a couple of things. Um, there also is an option where they will apply any coupon codes that they know of. I ended up getting a little freebie with their coupon codes and that works with all the other retailers. It's always just nice to check. I also love that it will tell you all of the other deals going on as well because I never check for that stuff and I just love having it in a nice, easy place that I can see everything. There is a chance at checkout that you can definitely save some money and once I placed my order my 4% cash back was added to my account and there by the way is no minimum for a payout so whatever money is in your account you can have it paid directly to you which I think is amazing. So they have over 4,000 retailers that you can shop from if you're a big online shopper this is amazing. There's Ulta, there's even Walgreens, CVS, I mean there's 4,000 different ones. <laughs> Top Cashback offers 100% of commission back to its members. And because of this, they consistently feature higher rates than other competitors. So anyways, it's just a great tool if you are an online shopper like myself. So if you want to sign up, I'm going to have a link down below. Remember, you do get a $10 Top Cashback sign up bonus if you go through that link. Let's get into the video. And by the way, all of the products that I'm mentioning in today's video can get some cash back through Top Cashback. Just saying. All right. Here we go. We have made our way to Sephora and you are looking at each and every brand kiosk and you're like, Morgan, what do I need to get from this brand? Let's start off with ABH. ABH was actually one of the hardest ones because I feel like they have a lot of amazing staple products. But for me, if there was one thing I would tell you to get, it would be the ABH Norvina Volume 5 palette. Now, oh my gosh, I could have given you soft glam, an eyebrow gel, an eyebrow powder. They have so many awesome items, but to me, this is just just superior to any other purple palette on the market. It's a really great value. You get so many colors. They are such high quality and it's one of the best curated purple palettes that exist. It has all of the right complementary tones to go with the purple looks, the perfect transition shades. Everything about this palette is perfect and it might be an unexpected pick but I really think it is 
one of the best and most unique items they have in their brand. So I would direct you towards that. Next up, Armani Beauty. Armani has some really great complexion products, so this was really hard. They have one of my favorite primers, one of my favorite foundations, but I would tell you to get the Power Fabric Concealer. There is no other concealer that is so quick and easy to blend like this one. It gives a true medium coverage. It is a great everyday concealer for the days that you are looking a little bit tired. It's just a perfect concealer. I love how easily it applies. I love it, obviously, clearly. <laughs> Artist Couture, while they haven't come out with a bunch of stuff, I do think that this is a really standout product on the whole makeup market if you're looking for a good neutral palette. The Artist Couture Supreme Nudes palette really is a classic for the brown tones. I think it's really phenomenal quality. The shimmers are really gorgeous and this is gonna give you that glam neutral look. So if you're looking at the Artist Couture end cap, this is the best item to go to easily. Bare Minerals, she was looking pretty slim at Sephora. I didn't really like the options that they had, but there was one standout product that I had to talk about, and those are the bronzers. So these are supposed to be a mixture of a blush and bronzer. I think they're a little too pink to be like a true bronzer, but these are so gorgeous. So I demoed the shade Kiss of Copper, I believe, on my cheeks today, and I even brought it up and blended it in with my bronzer. I feel like with this product, you still do need a bronzer, but the these blend into the bronzers beautifully. This does not seem like Bare Minerals at all. I feel like they're pigmented and they're super glowy, but they're super duper good. So definitely the best product from Bare Minerals right now. Benefit, this one was a no brainer for me. Obviously they have great brow products, but their 24 hour brow setter is my all time favorite. Is it my, I don't know if it's my all time favorite brow gel in general, but it's top three for sure. I love the spoolie on this. I feel like it brushes out and separates separates the eyebrow hairs in a way that makes your brows look really full and your eyebrows once you set them they're gonna stay like this all day and it's not too like harsh or chunky of an eyebrow gel but it still is going to as you can see hold the brows all day so it's just that perfect intensity while not being too intense and like I said the way it brushes out the brows is just stunning. Bite Beauty, unfortunately you know that they will not be at Sephora soon, but since they are having everything for 50% off, my favorite product that they have is the Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. I think this is a beautiful lightweight everyday foundation. It still does give you enough coverage to even out your skin tone. I would say it's a light medium coverage. It looks really beautiful. It doesn't wear ugly or anything. I really have been enjoying this since moving to a more humid climate. It just feels lighter on my skin. So yeah, this I'm so sad to hear about Bite because I do love this product. Bobbi Brown, I had to go with a very predictable choice here, but the Vitamin Enriched Face Base is definitely my favorite. I just think it is the perfect deep hydration prep before makeup. If you have severely dry skin, this is the perfect step to do before your makeup. I love it. It really instantly hydrates the skin in a really heavy duty way. I don't have one right now, but I wish I did. <laughs> Trying to get through some of my other primers and whatnot. Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, this one might have been the hardest brand to choose because Charlotte Tilbury is good in so many different categories. But as a newbie, I'm gonna tell you to go for the Kissing Lipstick Formulation. So the Kissing means that it's more hydrating. My favorite shade, and you can pick any shade of the Kissing Formulation, it's that formulation that I care about. My favorite shade is Yes Honey. But again, she has so many other amazing shades. This makes the lips look super plump and youthful. If you have a lot of wrinkles on your lips, this is going to smooth them right over and it's super comfortable and moisturizing as well. She also has some of the best, most wearable colors. This is my all-time, all-time favorite lipstick formulation, so you have to, have to try it if you're looking into Charlotte Tilbury. Danessa Myricks, this is a new product, but it really has just struck me as one of my favorites. Well, obviously as my favorite from her. This is the Yummy Skin Glow Serum. This is a beautiful, beautiful primer. I really feel like it gives the skin such a natural but a little bit stepped up glow. You know, it's not invisible on the skin, but the glow is pretty enough to be worn without makeup over top. And it also has a really great hydrating glowy base underneath makeup. I'm just really impressed at how good this looks with and without makeup. I think Danessa Myricks killed it with this. Dior, if you watch my videos, you know where I'm going, but Dior was pretty hard because they have a lot of great makeup and 
different categories. But the Dior Air Flash Foundation is my number one all-time favorite foundation. If you're going Dior, you're spoiling yourself anyways. So why not get the best luxury foundation ever? Wore this on my wedding day. Enough said. Okay, Estee Lauder, I am not an expert in that category of makeup or that brand. But I feel like they have a standout product that I just know if I try anything else from the brand, I'm still going to direct you towards this product. This is the double wear foundation. I mean, this has been a classic for years. It's a cult favorite. It has a huge following and for good reason. Anytime I get asked, hey Morgan, I have oily skin. I'm going to be out all day at an event. I need something that's going to last. An absolute bulletproof foundation for those types of events go to for long wear. Okay, Fenty, I feel like is going to surprise some of you guys, but Fenty obviously has really great products. I almost picked the lip gloss, but I picked out a product that I just feel like no other brand has a better version of and that is the bright fix eye brightener this is incredible so this is my favorite light coverage everyday concealer it is the only concealer that I have that literally blurs the under eyes and does not crease or go into the fine lines it is so odd every time I wear this my under eyes are smooth as a baby's butt I will talk about a lot of other concealers there's a lot of other concealers that I love but naturally with the folds of your skin and your fine lines it happens makeup sinks in there isn't a bulletproof product that's going to completely glide over the skin except for this I attribute this being so lightweight to the fact that it doesn't go into those fine lines or anything but because it's so lightweight you don't get too much coverage but I don't care there is not a better lightweight concealer than this one I had to mention it from Fenty okay Gucci Beauty this one is also funny like when you look at a stand or display at Sephora it's all about the lipsticks you would definitely Definitely think that I would say lipsticks and I want to say lipsticks but it's not my favorite product from Gucci it is this eyebrow pencil mine is currently in my makeup kit so I didn't want to dig it out but this is one of the best powder eyebrow pencils so I prefer the look of a natural powder eyebrow I just think it's a little bit more of a timeless look of course you know I do like the intense brow or drawing in the brow hairs but brow trends come and go and I think a powder eyebrow look always looks the best and this is like powder eyebrows in a pencil form. I think it is an incredible eyebrow pencil. It's my favorite item that Gucci has. Hourglass. Now it changes as the years go on. Every year is something different but you should always 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 go for one of their holiday palettes or their bigger face palettes. Right now I just have the one from this past holiday season. They have the deeper version of this palette online. That one will work for my skin as well. These are always the best value from Hourglass because you know they are very very pricey and you just get the best of Hourglass in these palettes. They put in a lot of permanent colors and they give you a little bit of everything. You know, They'll oftentimes put a finishing powder in there. They'll put a blush, a bronzer, and a highlight so you get the best of Hourglass face powders, which is their best product all in one. These are pricey, but they are totally worth the money and they're still a great value given the price of Hourglass. Huda Beauty, awesome items, but one of my go-to products that I can't live without that you have to try from the brand is the Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. I have mine in the shade Pound Cake. Nothing blurs my skin more than this powder, particularly the under eyes. This is amazing for baking or doing a light bake because it still never really gets heavy underneath the eyes. I feel like it sets my concealer all day and makes my under eyes look so soft and blurred. So this powder is absolutely amazing. One of my all-time favorites and the best under eye setting powder. Iconic London. Now Iconic London is a brand that I often forget is even sold at Sephora. So I had to think a little bit, but Iconic London's best product is a tried and true from them. This is the Illuminator and I hope my demo does this justice because even I forgot how awesome this product is. This is one of the best liquid luminizers I've ever tried and I'm very picky about liquid liquid luminizers. So this holds a lot of weight, okay? So I actually put this down before any powders and it didn't move or make the foundation look weird. But what is so special about it is even with all the powders you put on top after the cream products, the blush, I even used the powder foundation, this gleam still showed through. This is the best liquid highlight for underpainting, okay? It beams all the way through and it has the prettiest shine. Love that product, forgot about it, but it's great. Ilia Beauty, I love 
love their powder bronzer. I think they have some of the prettiest tones. Now, if you're similar to my skin tone, I use this shade drawn in. It's not too warm, it's not too cool, it doesn't give off too much pigment, it doesn't give off too little and it blends into the skin like butter. It almost reminds me of the finish of a cream bronzer, which I love the look of a cream bronzer. And the tone of this is just so perfect. I think Ilya kicked butt with this bronzer. It's their best item I've ever tried. A Cosmetics, I definitely wanted to go with a complexion product for them. Of course, I could direct you towards the classic CC cream, but honestly, what I prefer and I've been using for years over that CC cream is the Airbrush Perfecting Powder. This is one of my favorite natural powder foundations, but it also is versatile enough to use to set the face as well. I've gone through many of these in my lifetime. I love how these wear. They don't look too makeup-y on the skin. I'll use this as, like I said, just a setting powder or to control my oils, but I'll also use it for something more full coverage as well. It's my most used item from it. Jouer, I didn't have the uh, duos, but you have to try their blushes if you're looking into what Jouer has to offer. I think they have the prettiest wearable pinks and they're very, very blendable. I just have a blush palette here, but what they have currently available are the duos. And I love that the duos offer two different shades for you to use. It's just a beautiful... Jouer really just has a beautiful blush formulation. It's by far my favorite product from them. Okay, so Kaja. Kaja comes out, I feel like, with a lot of gimmicky items, but these Bento Eye Trios are so good. These literally are luxury quality eyeshadows. The all matte ones blend like a dream. They also offer some that have multiple shades and textures within them. Like this one right here is Toasted Caramel. This one is all shimmers. They have some all matte ones and then they have some ones that have like shimmers and mattes. This one is Hello Azalea. I have a review from years ago when these launched, but I still remember that review so well because of how impressed I was by these. So if you want a quick little eyeshadow look to throw in your purse that you don't have to think about that is phenomenal quality, Kaja killed it with these and they keep coming out with more and more colors because they are that good and people keep coming back and buying them. Kosas, a great clean beauty brand at Sephora, whatever clean beauty means, but their best item in my opinion is the Cloud Set Powder. I think that these are a beautiful setting powder. They blur the skin very nicely and they set the makeup perfectly. It just kind of finishes off the skin and makes everything look put together for the day. So yeah, I love this one. KVD Beauty, I decluttered these and I just, I don't need to buy more liquid lipsticks. But still, after all these years, I think KVD's best product is still the liquid lipsticks. Particularly the shade Lolita is my favorite. That is what I wore, I feel like, almost every day when I was in college. It's a beautiful kind of like rosy brown shade. But yeah, they're liquid lipsticks. They last forever. I don't find them to be too drying. It still, in my opinion, is the best product that they currently sell. La Mer doesn't have a ton of makeup, but I just know that I can tell you, if you're looking at their complexion line, the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation, this is one of my all-time favorite foundations. It gives the same finish as the Dior Air Flash, but it's in a liquid form, so you can kind of build up a little bit more coverage with this. It's just an amazing foundation. Luxury foundations, when they're good, oh, they're good. And this is like the characteristics of a true, true luxury foundation. Laura Mercier, if you watch my videos at all, even within the last month, I've talked about these nonstop, then you know. The go-to product from Laura Mercier for me is going to be their powder blushes. These are just a tried and true great blush formula. I love the shades that they offer. They all are so wearable and pretty. Currently today, I have on Fresco. This goes with any makeup look that you're going to wear. Yeah, it just, it does everything that you would want a powder blush to do. And I keep coming back to them because the formula is so reliable and the colors that they offer are honestly the best. LYS Beauty, kind of a newish brand at this point to Sephora. And I haven't tried everything, but it is a smaller range. But I can tell you that of the products that I have tried, my favorite is the Triple Fix Serum Foundation. I 
put off trying this for such a long time. I was expecting it to be an extremely skincare-y kind of foundation, which I just, I don't love the way that those wear, but this one shocked me. It actually gives you pretty good coverage. Again, it is a clean beauty product, so it doesn't last the longest as say like my <laughs> Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation, but this is a great everyday foundation. You won't catch me wearing this for events or anything, but I love the way it looks on my skin just for a day out, going out to lunch with somebody. It's a great everyday foundation. So I think it's their best product. It really was worth the hype. Makeup Forever, as you know, they have a ton of amazing staple products. You can't go wrong with them. My favorite product that they have is their powder foundation. I feel like this got a lot of hype when it launched and then the hype died down, but it really is, as you can see, one of my favorite powder foundations ever. It is very, very rare for me to hit pan on a makeup product, but I love the way that this looks and the way that it sets into the skin as the day goes on and you wear it more, it doesn't even look like a powder foundation on your skin, but it wears that much longer. And I've been getting into powder foundations again as I live in a humid climate. And I just love the way that a powder foundation, a good powder foundation will interact with kind of your oils and your sweat. And it kind of transforms that powder foundation finish to something a lot more skin-like. Makeup by Mario. Some would say his eyeshadow palette, that one with all the neutral shades. I'm gonna say his Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. Is that what this is called? Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick? Yes. The tones that Mario chose for these, truly amazing. The colors that he chose are so natural for sculpting the face. They don't look too orange. They don't look too gray. And they're a little bit harder to blend out. It's the tones for me. This is amazing. One of the best in terms of sculpting my face without it looking too unnatural or intense. Incredible. Okay, Melt Cosmetics is next. I definitely would direct you to their eyeshadow palettes. One that I think is really great to start off with that embodies the brand and has great quality is the Gemini palette. There's a Gemini 2 out now as well, but I still love the Gemini palette. I feel like these tones are super duper trendy, particularly in the fall. The quality of this is really great. This is the eyeshadow palette that I am wearing right now. The grungy greens I think are so stunning. So for for this look, I'm just going to show you what I did. I used Luna all over the crease. It's kind of like a matte deep yellow shade. Blends out beautifully. All of these work beautifully, so I'm not going to specify that. <laughs> then I took Mochi and I used a blending brush, but I applied it all over my lid and then blended it into Luna up here just to kind of start bringing in the green tones. Then I used Fire OG in my outer corner and all over my lash line to start giving me the depth and building up the look. And then I mixed some of Leo and Cupcake, so the two darkest shades that aren't black, and I focused those in the outer corner and the lower lash line as well. Melt Cosmetics has some of the best palettes for smoky eyes. They know how to do a good smoky palette. So that kind of started it off. Stayed away from the black, but if I was going for even more smoky, I would have used the black. And then finally, I finished off with Goals, this stunning, stunning green, all over my lid to get this really trendy, grungy green look, which I feel like is what Melt Cosmetics is about. They're about those grungy type looks. So if you're looking towards Melt Cosmetics, this is one of the best palettes to go for. Milk Makeup, my favorite product from them is the Matte Bronzer. I use mine in the shade Baked. I also love that they offer these baby versions so that you don't have to spend a ton of money all at once with these products. But this is just a great solid everyday cream bronzer stick. Blends really beautifully, wears very well, is a great tone, not something super unnatural natural solid solid cream bronzer. NARS was a tough one but I had to go for something in the complexion. Okay NARS has some hits or misses with me with foundations but they have one in particular at the top of my head that I almost picked. They also have their iconic concealer but surprisingly the product that I would tell you to get is the soft matte complete concealer. I think that this guy is just so versatile in a makeup routine. I feel like it blurs the skin. This is fantastic for oily skin as well. It's great for sculpting out your eyes brows. It's great for sculpting out eyeliner. It's great for blemish covering. It is creamy enough and not dry at all to be used on the under eyes. This is a special, special concealer. And yes, we all love the Radiant Creamy Concealer. I love it as well. But I don't want this one to hide in the shadows of that one anymore. This is an amazing concealer. Natasha Denona. Again, I'm being very, very predictable here. But the perfect starter palette is pretty 
particularly the size of palettes. So these are the $65 palettes. And if you don't know, you just get a lot of colors in a smaller amount of product. So she sells palettes for twice the amount of money as this that have twice as much product, but the exact same number of shades. Natasha Denona is a luxury brand. She is very, very pricey. So this is technically a good value if you want to try luxury eyeshadows. Now her five panners are the best, best value, but I want you to get a palette. You're going to love her formula. The Glam palette is my favorite. That's the one that I would recommend to you the most. But any of these 65 pan midi palettes is what they're called are the best to go for. Eyeshadows are the only way to go with her brand. All right, nude sticks. So I cheated a little when it came to nude sticks because I wanted to tell you, you have to try their blush sticks. But I was like, do I want you to get just the regular matte nudies formula or the nudies bloom? which is a glowy cream blush formulation. And then I saw they had a kit where you get one of the bloom formulation and one of the matte formulation. So that is what I would tell you to buy. Now, obviously, you know your preferences. If you prefer a matte blush, get one of their matte blush sticks. If you prefer the glowy blush look, get one of their glowy blush sticks. But I think that these are solid, solid cream blushes. This is kind of what they're known for and it's what they do a great job as. There's so many amazing cream blushes on the market nowadays. I really feel like Nude Sticks was one of the few first that really based their brand around these multi-stick kind of formulations and they still do a really great job. I think they've fallen off because a lot of brands are doing the blush sticks nowadays and a lot of brands are honestly doing a little bit better than Nude Sticks. If you're looking for a great blush stick, I don't know that Nude Sticks would be the first brand that I would choose for you, but they're definitely a very solid choice. In case you're wondering, my favorite color in the matte is in the nude. I think this is really nice. And the next one that I love is Cherry Blossom Babe, which is the shiny ones. And though I'm saying these aren't my all-time favorite blush stick formulations, they are still super nice. Still a great choice. These are a little bit drier than the blushes that are coming out now, but because of that, they wear longer. So if you're oily, Maybe Nude Sticks is the way to go for you. Next up, we have One Size. They have come out with a lot of good products lately, but I think their best product is the Turn Up The Base Versatile Powder Foundation. And I love that they have the word versatile in this product name because that really is what it is. This is a great medium to full coverage powder foundation, but I actually love this to set my makeup more and add a little additional coverage. The finish of it is so soft on the skin, it almost blurs it. I used it today to set the center of my face. I feel like my face looks so plush and soft and it's because of this. So yeah, this is a do-it-all powder. Foundation or setting powder. Okay, Pat McGrath. I'm not going to harp on this. I've talked about this palette in the last couple of videos, I feel like. But if you're looking to buy Pat McGrath for the first time, of course you have to get a Mothership palette. The color that I would recommend to most people, just in general, would be the Bronze Seduction palette. Of course you want to go for whatever color story you're going to wear the most. But I think generally speaking, this covers a lot of bases. It's pretty natural, but you can also get really dramatic looks with it as well. It looks great on a large range of skin tones. It's one of my favorite, if not my favorite, palettes from Pat McGrath. So this one is my favorite, but you gotta get a Mothership palette. Point blank, period. Patrick Ta Beauty. So I thought about it. it, it wasn't too hard of a choice though. Ultimately, I think the product that they have that kind of stands out from other brands are the Double Take Cream and Powder Blushes. I feel like nobody does a duo like Patrick Ta, and he also has some of the best color options as well. So how this product works is there is a cream blush on top and a powder blush on the bottom. They look beautiful together, but they also are beautiful on their own individually. So if you just want a powder blush, the powder blush is beautiful. If you just want a cream blush, they can totally work on their own. Them together is also a long lasting magical dream. Like I said, the colors that he has are really nice. Just a stunningly beautiful formula that really stands out compared to other makeup brands. Rare Beauty, it's a newer product from them, but <laughs> This is so incredible. They sold out so fast for a reason. These are the bronzing sticks from Rare Beauty. Super malleable, super beginner friendly, really gorgeous color range here. The ease of use on this is incredible for every day, I think. You know, Rare Beauty came out with one of the best bronzer sticks. Like, comparatively, the Makeup by Mario, that one is a little bit more dry, harder to blend, but the tones, I think, are a little bit better. Whereas this one, for the everyday person, is just 
easier to blend, easier to use, great for every day. They have a lot of good products though. I know you're surprised I didn't pick the blushes. The blushes are really great. That might be better if you're first trying anything from the brand at all, I suppose, but the cream bronzers, they can't be beat. They're the best product. <laughs> okay, Refai, I've only tried three products from the brand. They all have to do with eyebrows, but I do really, really enjoy the eyebrow pencil. It is so, so tiny, so great for detail work. I love it for using on my brows. I use it today. It blends out beautifully while still keeping the integrity of the line that you drew. Just an overall a really nice eyebrow pencil. Sai, I'm not gonna, or say. I think that's how you say it. I'm not gonna lie, this is the only product that I've ever tried from this brand, but I'm mentioning it because I just, I don't think anything that they come out with, I don't know if it could be better because I just love this cream bronzer so much. I have a lot of cream bronzers in this video. I'm passionate about them, okay? <laughs> I love a good cream bronzer. So this is the Sun Mount Natural Cream Bronzer in Light Bronze. So beautiful, I love it in this pot format. Blends beautifully, nice and natural. The same thing that I've said about all of the other cream bronzers, this one contains it and it leaves me wanting more to try from the brand. Sephora Collection. It is Sephora's brand of makeup, so typically it's a lot more affordable. I think one of their best products is definitely their eyebrow pencil. So you get a really high-end made in Germany eyebrow pencil that's only $12. So these can get expensive quickly because we all run through them like water. So this is a great option to start off with Sephora collection. They did a really great job with the formulation on this and it is affordable while having a really luxurious formula. Smashbox, a tried and true product for me. Keep in mind I do have dry skin, but I use this in my makeup kit as well. I'm just obsessed with it. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This is a great, really lightweight, hydrating primer. It's perfect before makeup because it's so lightweight. It doesn't sit on the skin. It soaks in really quickly and does its job as a hydrator very well. Okay, Stila. I don't know that I would tell you to buy Stila <laughs> if you're looking to buy makeup, but I, if I had to choose something, you were dying to try Stila. I would go with the Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. These are awesome. If you had talked to me a few years ago, I would have told you to get their Glitter and Glows. Don't buy those. I've since learned that they dry too fast. They're way too expensive for what they are. I find the shimmer and glows, they have a longer lifespan. They don't quite get as dry so quickly. And even when they do dry out a little bit, they still are creamier. With the glitter and glows, the glitter falls all over your face and it's just not a good situation. But these have a really fantastic lasting power and they're so pretty on the eyelids. I do really like these. I think they're overpriced compared to what you can now get on the market. There's so many great other liquid shadows, but right now this is the best that Stila is working with, if you ask me. All right, Tatcha's not necessarily a makeup brand, but I just know if you wanted to buy something from Tatcha, it should be this. This is the Liquid Silk Canvas. This is one of my favorite smoothing, yet still hydrating primers. So it doesn't dry out your skin, but I feel like it creates a really great canvas prior to makeup application. It is favorited by many, many people because it's so good. Okay, now for Tarte, I don't have it physically in my hand, but I didn't have a standout product really from Tarte anyways. So the product that I would tell you to get would be their Amazonian Clay 24 Hour Blushes. I use those in my makeup kits because they are great, great event blushes because honey, they are gonna last you. They're one of the few blushes that I just feel like doesn't really fade over time. I use them in my makeup kit, so they are in my makeup kit right now, best long lasting blushes. Tom Ford. Tom Ford is a very pricey brand. So if you're gonna buy something, I'm gonna direct you towards something that really is worth it. In my opinion, that is the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen. This is a double-sided liquid liner. You get two different sizes of the felt tip liner. One very, very tiny, one very long. I don't know what it is about this, but I can get a wing in seconds with this and this lasts forever, it like never dries out. So even though it is $60, you don't need to replace it, like say the Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath, I felt like I loved it, but I had to replace it every month. That price adds up. This is never ending. It's awesome, worth every penny. Too Faced. 
The Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer is one of those products that I am using nearly every day, I feel like, in my makeup routine. It truly is a staple to me. This is so versatile. It has a lot of coverage, but it's still quite hydrating. It looks really great used as foundation, but it also is a beautiful, very soft, hydrating concealer as well. One of the best concealers on the market that you can get. Tower 28 is, again, one of those clean makeup brands, but I really, really do love their blushes. These are the Beach Please blushes. Today I use the shade Magic Hour. So, so pretty. I'm No, I don't know what shade I used today. <laughs> Anyways, these are really beautiful cream blushes. The one thing I do have to say about these is I would suggest setting with a powder blush over top because these don't last the longest. They fade a little quickly, but the application is really, really smooth, and I think it's really pretty for a quick outing. You know, if you're just running errands and you want to put a little bit of blush on, these are really great. They're not going to break in your purse, so these are also awesome to throw in your purse for a little bit of lip color and to reapply your blush. These are very, very nice. Urban Decay, again in my makeup kit, but but, you know, there were a few options that I thought would be good to recommend from Urban Decay for you, like uh, the eyeshadow primer potion. But ultimately, I think their setting spray, the All Nighter, is fabulous. I use it in my makeup kit because I truly believe it helps with the longevity of makeup because it does contain a little bit of alcohol. I really don't recommend using alcohol, especially if you have dry skin too often on your face. But if you are going out for a night out, it's gonna be hot and heavy and sweaty and humid, wedding, any event like that. I really believe that this setting spray does help, so it's great to have it in your makeup collection. Westman Atelier is one of the pricier brands at Sephora, and I couldn't pick just one, but I would tell you to either get the cream blush, which is the gray one, or the cream bronzer. I used the cream bronzer today, but one is not better than the other. They are both equally as beautiful. It just depends on what you think your collection needs, but you can't go wrong with the cream blush. They last a nice long time considering it being cream. Really great color range. The bronzers I think are a great color. They're very easy to blend as well. So yeah, if you're looking at Westman Atelier, I would tell you to try one of their stick products because they're nice. I think this is like brand 49 or 48 or whatever. YSL, this is the last one and my favorite product that they have. I am not an expert in YSL, so I have not tried a bunch of their lip products, which I know are extremely popular, so I'm not an expert. But I can tell you that I do really, really love the Touche Eclat All-in-One Glow. If you like natural, summery kind of makeup, skin tinty situation, this looks so beautiful. I think it looks beautiful like out in the wild. <laughs> you know, when you are out and you look in the mirror and you're wearing this and it's a hot day, this looks fantastic. So just a really great tinted moisturizer that has some SPF in it. Whew. We did it, you guys. Those are the number one products, in my opinion, from every makeup brand that I've tried at Sephora. You guys know I've tried a lot. I use a lot of products to get my makeup look today. My makeup looks fantastic. So I hope this video helped you out in any way. I thought it would be fun to do and give myself that situation. And again, a huge thank you to Top Cashback for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you sign up with the link in my description box. And yeah, <laughs> if you are subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.